The most successful Magic Millions Gold Coast yearling sale in years reached a fitting crescendo when Book One closed out in front of a monstrous crowd on Saturday night. Newmark was set for the highest priced lot of the sale when a Colt by Sepoy broke that stallion's own record for a price reach by a freshman sire on the Gold Coast. The chestnut son of Group 2 winning mare Sister Madley was knocked down to United States breeders Spendthrift Farm for $1.2 million, but will remain in Australia to be trained by Hawks Racing. The number one is always physique. Uh, just a great, just a great physical, classy looking horse. Uh, great walk, looks the part, looks looks dust like a like a, a, a solid Australian horse. And uh, and of course there was certainly enough page there. So Exceed and Excel was the top performer of the established stallions, producing a filly out of Speedy Rossa, who is bred on the same cross as Magic Millions two-year-old classic winner Le Chef, that sold for eight hundred thousand dollars. Really liked the filly. We thought. She's one of probably the better fillies in the sale. Crosses work well. Seed and Excel Testarossa. So, um, yeah, we had to set our sights a little bit higher, but we bought her. Snitzel had an outstanding session, headlined by a colt from Fasley of Mare Star Levy, who was bought in partnership by Coolmore, John Warren, and the China Horse Club for $775,000, while another Snitzel colt, who is out of a three quarter sister to Black Caviar's Dam, Helsinge, sold to a man who knows a thing or two about that family for $675,000. Lovely colt, we know the family well as you know. Um, I don't traditionally buy big horses, he's quite a big horse but I've only seen two in the family that have moved like that and it's not hard to guess which two they were so prepared to punt him. I thought he was a magnificent individual, nearly the colt of the sale. Northern Meteor continued his fantastic back into the sale producing a colt out of Sophie Licious who fetched $575,000 and a colt out of To Please a Lady who sold for $550,000. Fastnet Rock also had a half a million dollar yearling, a colt out of Sweet Sonette who sold for $525,000. The amazing results of the night session only enhanced the magnificent overall figures of this year's Magic Million sale, which left organisers elated. It was just a spectacular evening tonight. Um, we uh, averaged 205,000 just this evening and, and grossed just short of 16 million uh, with an average, uh, sorry, now I said an average of 205 um, and a median of 150,000 and a clearance of 90% just this evening. Top price of 1.2 million for a sepoy cold out of Sister Madley, a mare that we sold for a million dollars a few years ago. So it's great that they had this, the faith in us to bring this colt back here, sell it and then to get rewarded very handsomely for, for such a lovely horse. And the day four results only added to what's been a fantastic sale overall. Oh yeah, look, we've, we've closed out the evening at, at just on 92 million gross, an average of 171,000 uh, and an overall uh, clearance of around 86%. So it's, a, it's just, I mean, those sort of numbers you would have only dreamt of um, coming into the sale. So, you know, it, what it does show is that people that bring their top quality horses here will get the top money. Um, which we're very, very happy about. And apart from anything else, it, it proves that Magic Millions, whatever sale we're running, we can provide the biggest and best international buying bench and domestic buying bench of any sales company in Australia. Well, the main session might be complete, but the action continues from 11am Sunday when more than 200 lots will go under the hammer as part of Book 2.